Pisces fam, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I have Rachel here with me for the part two of our Guerlain um, review, I guess you can say that. So we just did a part one. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put it in the link down below for you guys to check out. We reviewed um, my, the samples that I have because I don't own every single Guerlain. Um, and by the way, we are going to just focus on the art and materials collection. Um, because there's a bunch of other Guerlain. Um, so this is going to be the full bottle ones that um, I want you to, if, if you can, talk to us what you think about it and maybe hopefully rate them, you know, from 1 to 10. Because um, I feel like you have more experience on my full bottle ones than the I samples. The sample do. ones were kind of like both actually new to them. Yeah. Um, in comparison to the full bottle ones that I have. So let's get ahead, go ahead and get started. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have about ten to eleven, um, depending if we count Fev and uh, Gourmand Coquin separately. All right, let's get started with Neroli Outre Noir. I'm going to let you have a sniff. Let me show, show them the bottle while you're looking for your test strip and your notes. I actually just got, got this one. This is a very brand new. Um, and I got the orange cap and orange uh, cord for that one. All yes. Right. And my, my, my feeling about it is that it is a very nice, light, citrusy kind of smell at the beginning. The opening is very citrusy. The dry down is kind of citrusy too. Um, it kind of made me think of like a really nice hotel. Yes. With uh, maybe some fresh flowers. Oh, this is super nice. But but a very fancy hotel. For some reason, I thought of a hotel with dark walls. Hmm. You know, like some yeah. black or blue walls with gold trim and just, it does smell yeah. expensive. Yeah. And it's a very nice scent. Especially if you want to smell expensive. Expensive. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. It's a very... It's almost, uh, it smells like a like an elite yes. person. Yeah. Somebody with status. Mm -hmm. It. I do absolutely love this one. I mean, I, I personally love Neroli and Orange Blossom. But what I, I, I personally like about this is because... Like what you're saying about the dark walls, because usually like, like a Neroli perfume or citrusy perfumes, they're right. so bright and fresh. Yeah. But there's something about this one that kind of holds it back. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. not too bright. Mm -hmm. It's not too piercing. Yes. You mm -hmm. know? Definitely. It gives it more depth. I love it. I, I think it takes it. away the green. That's what it is. Because usually when you smell a, a flower like Neroli or Orange Blossom, there's that green. Yeah. There's that green background yeah. in it. And that takes away that green and kind of makes it more of a dark yeah enchanting, enchanting kind of smell is a good word, yeah yeah and she's i do so, like she's it. good at this you know? that's why i have her here <laughs> i do like i feel because like, every time we talk we talk about perfumes a lot yeah. and she she's 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 pretty good at describing she's taught things. me a lot though <laughs> <laughs> all right that's very good okay so how would you rate this one from one to ten on ten, ten being the the the, hot, the, the highest, the highest, highest. the bias, the bias, the bias. The bias. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would rate it at a an eight. Yeah, an eight. Yeah, and that's just me personally yes. because I'm more of a person who enjoys gourmands and woods. So for me, always the gourmands and the woods, the yeah. warm smells are going to be on the higher end. Yeah. But this is definitely the high number for me for a floral perfume. Yeah. I would put this on the yeah. high end of yeah. a floral. Floral and, and fresh kind of. Yes, yeah. floral and fresh. Yeah. Um, less fresh, more um, kind of. It's, a, it's like a warm fresh. Yes. Like yeah. Fresh. It's yeah. very difficult to describe. Yeah. Besides, like what I said, it's like a hotel with fresh cut flowers, but a very ultra chic hotel. Like it's citrusy and bright, but it's it's, it's a bit fluffy. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. there's more texture there. Yes, okay. that's a really good rating. Yes, and like what she said, she's not even a fan of citrusy perfumes, and she gave it a. Eight. I definitely don't like citrus. So this is the other one I love. Um, this is Joyeuse Tuberouse. 
I'm gonna show you the bottle and my uh, choice of cord and seal, both silver and like a white marble one. Once again, you guys, if you go to the Getaland website, you can customize your own, all of those that I have mentioned. All right, so, so I wanna know what you think. So I do like this one. I love the tuberous smell. Um, like some people describe it bubblegum. I don't smell that bubblegum. I do smell it very green. Um, it smells like it's coming straight from the plant because you do smell that greenness, that fresh uh, undertone. But there's it, also something um, so kind of bringing it down. So it's not purely tuberose. Mm -hmm. It's usually when you have a tuberose smell, it kind of pops at you that that's that's it. Uh, it that's it, just it. it. That's it, tuberose. Yeah, usually tuberose perfumes, tuberose centric perfumes are like so just in your face. Yes. And kind of jammy and yeah. punchy. Yeah. This is not it. It's very green. It yeah. does have that grass kind of smell or um, leaves, <gasps> fresh so cut leaves. This is this is this is awesome. Like when when, when I wear this yeah. like on my skin, it's much even better on my skin. Yeah. And. So surprisingly, because I, I know you have not actually worn this one, so for, for for you guys to know as well, to me when I wear this perfume, it actually lasts a long time. It performs really well. Okay. It yeah. You, you'll be surprised. It and, performs and really I, well. And I'm gonna put a disclaimer on all of these. Is um, most of them I am smelling them on paper, but as Pam mentioned, it's best to smell it on your skin because these change completely on your skin one of my favorite ones that i smelled from yours was completely different on my skin than when i sprayed it on the paper yeah so i'm glad i did spray it on yeah. my skin because i do love it yeah it's all right that's how good it is what is your rating for joyeuse to be ruse? let me give it just one more sniff i i just sprayed it on the cap, cap as well okay yeah so, that would so help what is that? There's something. There's a, okay. So I smell the green. I smell the tuberose. But there's something there that kind of brings it down. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of makes it creamy. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure I, what it is. I, I absolutely love. Do you smell that creaminess in there? I don't even care what it smells. Like. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just love this. I I, I absolutely love. Okay, this. I would I could I, I would recommend it. this to somebody who loves floral scents. But uh, not not for somebody who's starting in tuberose. I would not recommend this for somebody starting tuberose because it is very, very floral, very green. Um, I would give this... Mm, it's beautiful. Um, for myself, I'd put it on a lower end because it's not my favorite. Yes, yes. I, I but on a person... On like overall mm -hmm. on scent, I would give it like a seven and a half. Seven and a half? On yeah. That's Seven and a half, fair. eight. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's personally a 10. Oh, I thought yeah. you were going to say 12. But, I thought you were going to say it's a 12 because yeah. you just sprayed yourself with yeah. it. That's how I, much know, I love I, it. I actually <laughs> love this one. I actually love it. All right. So that's eight and this is seven and a half. So we're going to do it according to that. All right. So this is a pretty popular one and I still have the old bottle. And as you can see, guys, I have a, put a, quite a dent on it. This is Angelique Noir. All right, let's see what Rachel thinks about it. Love, love, love. Okay. I well, love it. What do you love about it? So, I don't really like florals. I'm not really a fan of um, anything floral. I like it all right. It's not my favorite, though. But um, I do like um, how it... It balances the floral with a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. So it does. I do love how it takes that citrus smell that it has. It is very green. It's in the very, very it's citrusy. Very green. But it's very citrus. It's, yeah. I've I uh, smelled it with a few other people to try and see if I was smelling the right thing. But I do smell le lemony. It's lemony. a little yeah, lemony. I get that. A little, I get that. Um, there's something citrus yeah. definitely in the opening. Um but if you like vanilla, it does. It's super vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, it smells like one thing. Dry down. The dry down. It takes the vanilla just 
makes it pop. So which so. one's your favorite part, would you say? Um, the, the, the part that you love about it. The part that I love about it is the, the vanilla. The dry I, vanilla. I love vanilla, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's, and it's a nice creamy vanilla. It's a very sweet vanilla. It does smell like ice cream for some yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not, it's not that warm vanilla. It's that sweet, sweet vanilla. And it, it's a, the name is perfect. And yeah. noir. Angelique noir. Yeah. Cause it is. It does have that yeah. noirness of yeah. it. That darkness, like a like a dark. Yeah, there, there, there's something about there's something mysterious about it too. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's not my favorite of all these. Yeah, but I'm gonna give. I would rate it a um, definitely an an eight. An eight. Okay. Yeah. So so mm -hmm. far we got two eights over here. Okay, let's go ahead and go with the. So this is the newest release from. The Arts and Materials, which is Feb Gourmand. Okay, this is their newest release. And I know you, you have smelled this. You have compared this yes, with the Gourmand Coquin, which is the original version. And I have made a video of this not too long ago, comparing the two. But I want to know your opinion. So let's talk about first the newest release, which is the Feb Gourmand. I want to know what you think about it. So uh, it's a very nice smell. <laughs> um the i do smell the difference when okay. i when i smelled it i had already smelled uh gourmand coquin okay. yeah so i immediately had that in the back of my mind when i started smelling it okay um just as a as a fragrance by itself uh, it's a nice dark chocolate scent okay so if you're somebody who likes dark chocolate yeah. you want to smell like a nice expensive bar of candy mm -hmm. then Feve gourmand is nice yeah it's good for that it it has the candy scent without all the sweetness so it's not very sweet and i could tell the difference the other so, yeah, one is yeah, very yeah. sweet opening has that sweet smell through and through okay the other one is more of a milk Milky kind so of chocolate. So, so you say this one is a it's little dark bit, chocolate. This one's definitely dark milky, chocolate. Milky and that darker. One's, that one's darker. Okay, and this Feb one. Gourmand is dark chocolate. It's very sharp. The other uh, Cocan Gourmand, Gourmand Cocan, sorry. Okay. That one is a milky chocolate. It okay. has a chocolate uh, that is just creamy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of creamy on your skin. Uh, it has that sweet opening, but not sweet chocolate. Sweet fruit. Sweet fruit. Yeah. yeah. The beginning is a sweet, sweet fruit. And then slowly it turns into a chocolate with fruit. Yes. And then the chocolate just kind of takes over. But then it has like a floral chocolate. It's very, very strange. Mm, yeah. But as the day goes through, it is delightful. It is a very, very the, nice scent. The, 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 which one? Gourmand the, the Gourmand Cocon. So, so, so if you were to compare the two, would you say they're the same perfume? They're not the same. Okay. The Fever Gourmand is definitely different than Gourmand Coquin. Better or not? Or how would you compare I would Gourmand com Coquin? Pair Fever Gourmand is kind of like a dupe of Gourmand Coquin. Yeah. It smells like it's trying to imitate what Gourmand Coquin has, but it cannot replicate it. And, and and that's exactly how I feel about it. Um, but, but you know, a, a lot of people I think it's even like more intense, or it's just the same. But but like to me, like what I've said before, um, towards the dry down, they become very similar. Similar, but not the same. But you, it's if, similar, if you, but, but not if the you're same. familiar with this, you can definitely detect the difference. Yeah. I guess if you're not familiar with gourmand coquin, you won't be able to detect the difference as much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you know, it's it's really up to you. How would you rate Fev on its uh, own? Fev, I would give that maybe lower end of a seven. Yeah, like I'm a not, six point nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's it's nice. I mean, it does have its its good points, but if I had Gourmand Cocon, I would never touch Favorite Gourmand. Yeah, I would I, never touch it. I might I actually even look at it. I might actually sell this, you guys. Um, I'm going to let you know on the comment section when if I do decide to sell this one because I do have a Mercari account. I just opened up a P.O. box. So 
if anytime I dec declutter things, please check that out. Um, and you can buy authentic decluttered perfumes for me because I don't really see the use of this anymore because yeah. to me it's still different and in fact as we just got not too long ago my one liter <laughs> of gourmand coquin okay has arrived from Belgium and if you guys are interested I ordered this from place Vendome in Belgium this is a one liter B bottle okay and obviously I did not opt for the golden ones because I will not be in a house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to sell one of my children. children. Yes. So Choose which um, one. <laughs> and when I got that one, show, show them what you got. Yes, you got me yeah, one. I'm, be, before you show it, what um what's your rating for Gourmand Kokan? Gourmand Kokan is a definite... Uh, it's one that sneaks up on you. It sneaks uh -huh. up on you in a good way. Yeah. Um, it's like it's like a eight. It's like a eight, and then it kind of and then it kind of just goes just crazy kinda. in a way that you like. I mean, mm -hmm. the other day you were wearing it, and every time I'd get just a little scent of it, I was like, "Oh, that's really really nice." Come here. <laughs> yeah, it smells. <clears throat> it smells like it smells like pastries, but then at the same time, it it smells like a perfume. It's decadent. Yeah, it's decadent because a lot of perfumes, either they'll smell like candy or cake or it'll smell like flowers. But this is something that just kind of takes a mixture of all of them. Yeah. And it's in a nice, a very, very nice way. Yeah. So show them what you got. Yeah, so I got, Pam got me one as well. Yeah. She got her <laughs> own gourmand coquin. And bottle. I just love this. The wrapping. Yeah, they did wrap it. The wrapping yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. They did a very nice job. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so I got her her own because it's going to be a unicorn now, you guys. Yeah. Um, so if you want it and that's the place I got it from. So you may want to contact them to get your own bottle of gourmand coquin. Okay. So let's go ahead. Um, so this Fev is uh, what did you say again? Like a low end of a seven. Which is, which is let's put a number to it. Uh, let's put 6.8. 6.8. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the lowest so far, and you did not put your final number. Gourmand Kokan, I definitely give that a nine, nine and a half. Nine and a half, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so let's go ahead, and I know how much you like I this one. I love so it. She has recently just smelt this one, and again, she's not even a fan of rose. And this perfume is called Rose Barbar. And tell us what you think. Yeah, I really 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 like this one and as uh pam mentioned i don't like rose uh because most roses that i've smelled remind me of either a matronly kind of smell or potpourri that belongs in a bathroom <laughs> but this one is from beginning to end wonderful this is something else. It is. It really, really is. Like, you can't even describe it. Like, how, how, how can describe you describe it. this? So, the best way that I could describe it is that it's a sweet and gentle rose. That's perfect. It's... I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's very gentle. You get the scent of the rose, kind of like rose water. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how you get a rose water to spray on your face to refresh your face? And it has that nice rose smell to it. But then it also has all these other backing notes that just make a symphony. Rose to me, it can either tend to be jammy mm -hmm. or like clean and soapy. Yeah. But this one... Neither. It, yeah. It's, it's neither. Not, it, it's neither. And it, it has some thickness to it. Like, yes. Like you can feel it's thick. Like rose petals on like a bed. A, like, a, like a bar of gold almost. Like yeah. It's thick. You know, it's thick and hefty. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know how to. It smells like a romantic evening, and, but but it, but it in does, a sweet way. But it does have some stickiness to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's still sticky, but not too jammy. Yeah, there's some kind of nice sweetness clean, to clean it, clean aspect to yeah. it. But it's not like a soapy clean rose. Yeah, it's it's just I don't know what to say about it. If you can smell it, other than I recommend have... go and smell it. I don't think anybody would not like it. It's yeah. just it's. It's a universal smell, likable smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's but at the same and I time, can't even get enough. But of at that. the I just same time, it's it's it. still unique. Yeah, right. No, it's, it's very, still very unique special. And special. 
It's, it's very not special. Like, it's not like you smell it and the, oh, it smells like this. It smells like no, this it doesn't smell no. like anything. Uh -uh. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. Mm -hmm. This is a very nice blend of sweetness with rose petals, rose water. Um, it's it's not quite decadent. It's just kind of light and like a prim and proper lady. Yeah, you know. It, like it's light, but it, there's still also some heft to, to it. it. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's so, true. what's your rating? Ten. That's a perfect Very perfume. Nice. I am pleased. I'm so ten. happy. I've so never happy. really smelled a lot of tens. Yeah, <laughs> I've smelled a lot of stuff, but yeah. not tens. Not tens. Ten, 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 ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to the, our next one, which is a rose. Uh, I'm sorry, a rose. <laughs> it is Torefi. Which is, this is actually, I don't know if you are aware, um, coffee and iris. Really? Okay. I, I think so. Now I'm doubting myself. But something <laughs> like that. Something I that believe sense. you. We'll see if you pick it up. What you pick up. Okay. So at first, when you smell it, it smells kind of like uh, something that belongs in a child's playroom. Hmm. Okay. So at first... So I didn't little, really like bad. it. At first, I didn't really, um, I didn't hate it. You didn't. I just didn't have an opinion towards it. I was yeah. kind of like, okay, that smells like something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I decided to spray it on my skin, and I still felt the same. I was kind of like, oh, it's not the skin thing. But then after a while, I started to smell it again, and it is wonderful. It yeah. is a very, very nice fragrance. It is... Uh, as I described it, I wrote down delayed delight. Delayed delight. I like that. <laughs> because what it does remind you of is like a, a very nice cottage in an English countryside. And they have like a sitting room in an Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of just smells like that, like a very... Um, a sitting room or a, or a drawing room. Yes. Oh, yes. Drawing a drawing room, room yes, yeah. with the sun kind of seeping in and... And a fire, uh, a fireplace with a little bit of fire, mm -hmm. keeping people warm. And at first, it just it just kind of stays there. But then, as it goes goes deeper and deeper, it just it pulls you in. Yeah. You you smell the iris, and the iris is like a painting. It's kind of like I see that. This is this is what I would I think, think that's of a very when you good see Van Gogh's iris. That is a very good description. It's, 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 it is a piece of art. It's yeah. a beautiful iris. It's like and, a painting. And, and okay, so the, when she talks about the rose perfumes we have mentioned, she's not a fan of rose, but she likes it. I'm not a huge fan of iris. I'm not. Yeah. Um, but this, I love it. Isn't it beautiful? It's, 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 there's something about it. Yeah. There's something. It's, wonderful. About, I, it's actually the best iris perfume I've ever smelled. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, so when when we got to the Guerlain boutique in Paris this is the first thing I told the lady that I want to get I was really? like I want to want to make sure I have uh, I want Iris Torefi for sure even before I Senti besties yeah <laughs> so oh what's your rating 10 10 10 Ooh, it's, it's a, a oh man it's a gonna it's a be a tie and it's odd because at first it doesn't really have any like the opening is not um as exciting to you yeah it's not it's not something that you would you would think, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this, but then as it keeps on going, you're like, wow, that really yeah. just, yeah. I can't stop smelling it, mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah. scent. All right, next is queer beluga. So this is another vanilla perfume, which is also has some leather to it. What, what do you think about that one? Yeah, so it did, it described it as a, a suede. And it does have that suede smell to it. When you start it and you open it up at the beginning, it kind of just smells sweet and like suede mixed with vanilla. Sweet suede. Yeah, sweet suede mixed with vanilla. You know what? Now that you smell it a little bit later, you smell the leather. I do, but but only because I know there's leather in it. Yeah. You know, like, but if I that, smell it... If I smell it without ever seeing the notes ever, I to me I would not pick it up. I yeah. Now I pick I can picture leather mm -hmm. more than I can smell it. I get what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like I can picture 
the texture, like mm -hmm. something that's leathery and velvety. Yeah. More than I can smell it. It smells like um, finely made leather bags, mm -hmm. but not a heavy leather bag, like a fine leather bag, mm -hmm. because it has that that leather scent to it, but it's very faint, so it's not one of those very strong leather scents, but, um, but the suede is really the one that pops yeah. out. I think if you're smelling it through and through from beginning to end, suede is what it, you'd it, smell. It's definitely more suede -y. Yeah. Yeah. And the vanilla is there, but the vanilla is only there to sweeten it because it doesn't really feel so much vanilla. Yeah, but it's not sweet at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it does... It has sweetness. It has a sweetness, exactly. But it doesn't really smell like vanilla. You know, right. like it's the, it's there. You know it's there and you can smell it, but it's not um, not as pronounced. So do, do, so do you get the Play-Doh vibe? Cause I, I definitely get how people would smell the Play-Doh. It does have that vibe I, I, at the beginning. So I'm not sure if people sm smell Play-Doh, that's me telling you I smell Play-Doh. No, I, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do get how how you could smell Play-Doh. But this is nice. And this, is, is, this nice. is this is super long lasting as well. It's very, this very is super nice. Long lasting. Okay, what's your rating? That's in my alley, so I would um definitely give it a uh, 9.5. 9.5. Wow. It's pretty close really? to the 10. I really do like it. Wow, okay. 9.5. So it's the same rating as your gourmand coquin. Yes. Now this one, this is a super duper popular one. I think most people uh, or a lot of people, this is like one of their top vanilla perfumes. Yes. This is a Spiritus Double Vanille. And I still have the older bottle. And you can see I've worn a lot as well. Okay. Okay. So I do get why people love it. But this is my one thing that I'm super picky about is vanilla. Mm -hmm. So I understand why people like it. It does have that sweet, sweet cupcake vanilla kind of smell to it You're it right. does have a cupcake smell um, now that you said it it's like vanilla on top of vanilla with vanilla kissing yeah. vanilla <laughs> yeah it's like a vanilla party yes yeah so if you are somebody who likes sweet vanillas this is your vanilla as somebody who likes Darker, more warm, gourmand vanilla. This not one quite. is not, quite, not do, quite do it for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not that I don't like it on other people. I'm, I do enjoy it on other people, but um, it hits a sweetness that I don't really fly, find pleasing. So, so I, I, I find this very boozy. Do you get that? Yes, and I think that is that's, it. Probably that. that I think that part? the booziness brings a sweetness out even more. I, I I think it's like like a boozy musky vanilla. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like so this this to me I I'm I'm with you. It's kind of like when you look at a very beautiful person, mm -hmm. like you acknowledge that person is beautiful, mm -hmm. good looking, bone structure, everything, but then it's just not my type. Yeah, exactly. But you do acknowledge the the beauty. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so to me, I acknowledge it. I do like it. Yeah, it's very pleasant. But there's also something about it that makes it not my absolute favorite. Yeah. I think it's because it's missing the warmth. Yeah. It has no warmth to it. It's like a very it is, extra it is sweet. very good. But it's like it's an extra just, sweet cupcake with, um, with booze. <laughs> a booze doused cupcake. And I know that sounds like it doesn't, like it's not good, but it, it is good. But in its own way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Me personally... Um, I probably wouldn't be drawn to it if I just smelled it. Yeah. I'd be like, uh, not my vanilla. Yeah. That's yeah. that's all I would think. It's very good. It it, it is very good. I, I I don't deny it, but yeah, there's just something about it that's again, I love it. Yeah. But it there's something about it that makes it not my top vanilla yeah. of all time. And how it's made, these are all ten. Yes. Okay. To how they are made, quality, like you said, quality, quality and scent, they're ten. Yeah, but to me, that's if you have to like pick and choose. If I had to pick size. and choose, uh, not being a sweet vanilla kind of person, that would be a a seven. Okay, so this one is pretty sweet. This next one, and as I have uh, told you, 
It's your favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite Guerlain perfume and probably my favorite perfume of all time. Um, this is... And I'm smelling Tonka. my hand because I put yeah. it on my hand. Tonka Imperial. In fact, I have made a review of this one a very long time ago when I was first doing uh, my YouTube reviews. And she was there, but we couldn't see her beautiful face back then. But now she's here. So I want to know what you think about this one now. Be nice. I it's my favorite. I love Tonka. <laughs> and No, but I want you to be honest. Now. And on Pam, it smells amazing. Like Aww. it smells, yeah, it smells so, so uh, complex and so um, decadent. The thing that I like about Tonka Imperial is that it smells like multiple perfumes mm -hmm. put together. All right. So, but throughout the day, on Pam, the Tonka Imperial, it smells wonderful and. Like I was saying, it has these different layers to it. So it doesn't smell like the same perfume throughout the day, which is nice. Mm -hmm. If you want to if you want to have multiple perfumes on um, throughout the day, you know, that smell different at each time, that's that's what Tonka Imperial mm -hmm. is. Like in the morning, if you sprayed it, it would smell different than in a few hours. Yeah. And I, I really admired that about it. And it does bring out all those notes in, in a beautiful way. Like at the beginning, the opening is Tonka. And I love Tonka. I know you're a sucker for Tonka. Yes. I, I, anytime there's oh something, that was the first thing that I loved. And mm. when I first sprayed it, <sighs> that's the first thing you smell. Then it slowly goes into almond. Oh but the almond <laughs> is like... A, this kind of candied, sweet, dark, roasted almond. And then There's you slowly get that tobacco time. scent. And then a little bit of lavender kicks in. Yeah. I, I, I almost get a high when every time I smell it. I'm, I'm not wonderful. even joking. It's wonderful. I'm not even joking. When I first get a bottle of this one. No, no, no. When I first get a 10 ml sample of it, a decan. Like when, when I would get home, I would literally run to my nightstand because that's where i was keeping my sample and i would get like a sniff of it like it's almost like a hit yeah i'd get like a yeah i would get like i a can't hit. stop oh smelling it gosh. i love it oh, oh my gosh something i put a little bit on my smell hand it. smell it smell that <sighs> the, the almond right? almond is so good and the tonka is delicious it's just, the tonka uh, gives the vanilla it's got this but in the like, warm scent so that is my so for vanilla scent i prefer tonka because yes, tonka me too gives the vanilla scent but then it's warm. And it has texture. It has a it texture has, it to has it. It has like spikes to it. Yes. Spiky. It's like a spiky vanilla. Vanilla just kind of smells like cake and ice cream. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm boring. okay with that. Yes. Yeah. And but Tonka, body spray smells like cake and ice cream. So I'm, I don't really like it that much. Tonka is like vanilla. Booze, almond. With, with like, like a, a, a hit of scotch. Yes. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, it is a very like um, a, sophisticated like a, like a hard, smell. Like a hard vanilla. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sophisticated yeah. smell. I mean, if you smelled somebody with this, you know they're a sophisticated person. Yes. It's a very, very nice smell. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very right. nice smell. I wish. All right. So this is our last one. So this is also one of the newest releases from Guerlain, of course. And this is Tobacco Honey. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of like either love this or hate this one. I'm on the love, but I want to know if you Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. We did not rate Tonka Imperial. Oh, we didn't. You're right. We did it. So, oh, yeah. It's for you. For you. What's your rating? For me? Mm-hmm. 10. 10. I love okay. it. It's a, right. it's a, I can't not love it. It's Tonka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, now we know. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go back to the tobacco honey. So I want to know if you love this, you hate it, you like it. What what's what is it? All right. So my feelings towards tobacco honey are very um, confusing mm -hmm. <laughs> because I love I like tobacco and I smell the tobacco once I was smelling the end of it. The dry down has that tobacco. The beginning is just really honey in a very nice and pleasant way. It kind of smells like. The honey that you would put into a teacup, mm -hmm. but real honey, not that fake honey, just a nice fresh honey from organic, yeah, organic, yeah, high quality honey, yeah. And 
I like that. Yeah. So it does it does honey in the right way, in a unique way, in a way that you've never smelled honey before. It always smells um, very synthetic and fake. You know the way I'm, I'm, I'm picturing of this honey. Like I feel like the bees are like royalty bees. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they are. I don't know, like from a palace. Yes. <laughs> palace bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Not, totally not get, like yeah. peasant bees. Yeah, 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 yes. It does smell like it's bees that were very well taken care of. Yes. And it does convey the honey, but not in an overpowering kind of yeah. way. But the only thing that I feel that this one, to me, is lacking that maybe the other ones have is that all these other ones uh, I feel have a more complex uh, scent, and the tobacco honey is just what it is. Yes. Tobacco honey. Yes, that's what it is. It's yeah. like a, a cigar that was dipped in honey. Yes, and it if you like that, that's great. You can like it. Um, I don't hate it. It's just I'm not sure yet. I'm kind You're of on the fence sure. on okay. it okay. because I, I do feel deciding. that on my skin I'm gonna have to try it. Because I haven't it tried it on skin. Get overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I'm trying to figure out if the honey will win or the tobacco. And if the tobacco wins, I like it. But if the honey wins, I don't think I'll like it that much because, like I said, I don't really like things that are on too sweet of the side mm -hmm. of the spectrum. And honey this is, is very the sweet. No, this is very sweet. Yeah. So, so what's your, for now, for, for now, now um, what's your rating? It's a very well made. For how it's made, I would give it, you know, a, a, a 9 or 10. For me personally... How you like this one. How I like it, I would give it a 7. A 7. Okay. Yeah. So I think that goes kind of like um, right beside Fève Gourmand. Yes. Give us your top 5 Top favorites. 5. From okay, 5, so 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 being the top 1. Top 5. Okay. So, so if you were to do that... So if I'm giving my top five, mm -hmm. I love Corman Kokan. Okay. That's, that's my five. That's number five. Mm -hmm. It's delicious and chocolatey, decadent, and it lasts through the day. So mm -hmm. it's a lovely scent okay. for every day. Top um, four? Number four would be, mm, let's see. I like... Queer Beluga, and I kind of want to put it, yeah, I'll put Queer Beluga as the next one. Okay, number four. Okay. And then and your top three. Tonka Imperial. Tonka Imperial. And number two. two. Mm. Oh, that's a hard one because so, so, so I, you gave Rose Bar Bar and I gave both of them a 10. And it is totally all, of them all, a 10. all 10. Yes. And it's kind of hard because, like I said, I just love smelling yeah. both of those. Um, but only one gets the gold Only trophy. one gets only the gold one gets the gold So trophy. if I had to choose one? only one, So which I one's would your say, number two first? So number two is going to be... Um, okay. This is, this is <sighs> this for is me hard. and for everyone. So for me and for everyone... Iris would be number two. Number two. Rose would be number one. Reason being, the rose is for everyone. Rose is for everyone. Yeah. I love it, and I think everyone, everyone will love yeah. it. There's, I just don't see anyone not liking yeah. it. It's just, okay. I can give it to my mom, and I think she'd like it. Yeah. And she's very picky with her perfumes yeah. as well. Yes. I could give it to my sister. I think she'd like it as well. Yeah. It's honestly. Oh, you like it so much, you don't want to give it. <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to give it to them, but it's like, I'm not giving it. <laughs> <laughs> but I right. could spray it, and I think they would like it. Yeah. They would enjoy it, and I think it's a perfume that everybody would like. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me to do this. Thanks reviews. for inviting me. It's one of my favorite things to do: talk about perfumes. And you're just like the bestest ever. <laughs> um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please say hi to Rachel in the comments section below if you have anything you want to comment about how much you enjoyed this one maybe we can invite her again in the future when she visits me and if you like any part of this video tell them to like and subscribe like and subscribe all right see you guys on the next video bye bye, bye.